Why not investigate? Why not get to the bottom of it? I mean, John, think about these two numbers, 17 and 66. 17 is the number of witnesses the Democrats brought forward in their crazy impeachment process last year when they were trying to remove President Trump from office. And all, remember, all that was based on the anonymous witness the, that we never got to see, the anonymous whistleblower who was biased against the president, worked for Joe Biden, who no one got to interrogate, no one got to cross-examine. 17 versus 66. 66 people have testified in Michigan, Pennsylvania, Arizona in these election fraud hearings. 66 people. And the other number to remember is 200. Over 200 people have signed or signed affidavits or declarations saying there was fraud in this election. And now we have this video. Mm -hmm. Now we have this. So why not get to the bottom of all this? Listen, were there only Democrats in the room? I don't know. Did they force the observers to leave? We don't know. But it sure looks funny. Why don't Democrats want to get to the answers and why don't Democrats want to investigate? Yeah, and I hope it does get to the Supreme Court. I hope we can get to the answer to this. Here's what else I think is so important, John. 74 million Americans voted for President Trump. Polling shows that more than 70 percent of that number think the election was stolen. So think about it this way. More than 50 million people think there are major problems with this election, that it's not credible. That is one third of the entire electorate. When you have one third of the people who participated in a national election, a presidential election, who think it was false, you had better exhaust every avenue you have to get to the truth. And remember, we still have time. The Electoral College doesn't meet for 10 days. Congress doesn't certify the results until January 6th. We have time to dig into this and figure it out and time to get this case in front of the Supreme Court and get all the facts for the American people. I would argue it's not just good for the president, not just good for the 74 million Americans who voted for him. It's good for the country because you cannot have a third of the electorate, more than a third of the electorate, thinking, thinking that there is no integrity in our election process.